on our way to Gifu from Nagoya. We're done with Nagoya. We filmed one video here. So we're done with that, on to Gifu. And today, like, uh, Chelsea, Ben's girlfriend, lost her wallet. <laughs> but you found it yeah. at a police station because this is Japan. Thanks for Thank the policeman. Yeah, and this thanks for the Japanese. <laughs> they just dropped it off at the police station, so good country. Welcome to Gifu, the land of... I don't know much about this place yet, hang on. There's some skiing though. This is a very typical um, hotel room here in Japan. Look how tiny. Just like one bed, desk. It's very efficient, I mean, everything is laid out very well. Bathroom is very small. It's cozy though. It's cozy. Mm. So this is Gifu. Hello, Gifu. We just got here, but really, there's really not much to do tonight. So I'm gonna go and look for a place to eat that's kind of local here, I guess. But also I wanna try out this McDonald's thing. McDonald's came out with like a adult cream pie. Huh. Anyway, I wanna try that out. So find a McDonald's, find some food. That is the mission for today. Out exploring Gifu a little bit. And I think we're, we're in the downtown area. There's like five things that this, uh, this region is really known for. One is a, a stir-fried chicken dish, two is a ramen, and three is the uh, is a famous sweet fish. Um, I really couldn't find any place that sells those signature items that, that's, uh, that's rated pretty nice. I think there's a mall over there. Um, so I'm just going to walk around and see what I run into that I feel like I want to eat. Cool, this guy's office is a bunch of shipping containers. It's nifty. Another thing I love about this country, there's just like historic Shinto shrines everywhere. Just walking in the neighborhood and all of a sudden, Shinto shrine. So pretty. Middle of nowhere, there's like little, um, quiet little neighborhood. There it is. Okay, it's supposed to open at five. I don't know. They were like, no food. So <laughs> I walked all the way here. That was like half an hour. I have no idea where to go now. All right, let's go try our luck in the main road. You know what? I just walked past this tea house. That looked pretty interesting. There's a sign that says the best hot cakes of the year. I want a hot cake. It's a tea shop where you can buy and they specialize in uh, red tea. And I guess there's like a little cafe here. See, look at this. The ultimate hot cake 2019 winner. This place is adorable. It's like colorful. And I order a hot cake. And so basically you get two hours of free tea to drink when you're sitting here. You can just like, I think it was like a, I'm paying like $20 and I get a hot cake and two hours of free tea. The first tea is peach. Oh, that's great. Tea with huge peach flavor. Mmm. That's really yummy. Strawberry wine. Strawberry wine. Strawberry wine flavor. Mmm. That's all. And I got Strawberry wine flavor for my second tea. Ooh. I like, the tea, I like the peach a little more, but these teas are very true to its flavor. It smells like strawberry wine. Wow, that's really good. It's crazy, like the top layer and the bottom layer is like got a little nice, almost a um, crunchy, waffly exterior. And the inside, yeah, it's just all kinds of fluff. 
Oh, that's really, really good. And his tea syrup is ridiculous. Mmm. Mm, I'm telling you, forget those fluffy souffle pancakes and come try this. With some chocolate. Wow. Bitter chocolate tea. This place was in Tokyo, it was just being packed continuously. Mm, sad I won't be able to come back here. What? Awesome tea shop. Amazing. Next tea to sample was milk tea. Mm, so basically, this place you just sit here for like two hours and just continuously give you different teas to try. Awesome concept. Now this might be my favorite, the rose tea they have here. Mm, just smells like love. I mean, I've had rose tea before. I've never had one so fragrant as this. I might buy some of this before I leave. All right, second to the last day of filming. We're leaving, going back to Tokyo tomorrow. One last meal here in Gifu. There's a shabu place, it looks amazing. Gotta go try it. It's a Kyoto pork shabu place. Let's go eat. They're sold out. I mean, they're booked out. I forgot it's Friday. Ugh, so sad. It's like yesterday all over again. All right, going to a second. Hot pot place. It's like a seedy place. Nope, that's not open. This is so weird. Okay, one F. Okay. I guess it's <laughs> Wow, here, this is it. This does not look like it's open. Huh. Okay, let's see. All right, this whole area seems very condemned. Nothing is open. Gotta go to the izakaya. This looks good though. This is something that's very unique. Izakaya is you dip this in this sauce, just eat the cabbage. The auntie kept trying to make me read Japanese. <laughs> couldn't, I didn't know how. I felt like I was disappointing everybody. Mm, good fried lotus root. Oh, pink coal. Red coal from the outside. That's delicious. Mm, finally a little sausage. This is my favorite. Ooh. This is uh, Wagyu, rated onions and some fried garlic. Mm. Now I went to a Citroen place. Uh, sick of not being able to restuff on the menu. Mm. That's not bad. Oh. That's not ramen. Oh my god, that's hot and sour soup. I thought it was a noodle. This is a dandan dan noodle? Oh my god. <laughs> mm, this chicken dish is great. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is definitely not hot and sour soup though. That's, I don't know what that is. Ooh, here we go. Thank you. Arigatsukaimasu. The spicy chicken is just covered in chilies. Very underneath, more chilies. Mm. That's spicy, very spicy. Wow, this is almost like a spicy challenge spicy. I think we got very, very spicy. Very spicy. That's gonna hurt later. Actually, I do feel like uh, that was a spice challenge chicken because the waitress was kind of freaking out when we ordered it. And we're like, it's fine. No big deal. How spicy gonna be? They laid it on. In retrospect, that spicy dumpling. Feel like a lollipop. That was truly very mediocre stuff. One more film day tomorrow and then uh, back to Tokyo. Really not much to eat here. Finally back in Tokyo. Oh, here about three more days and it's raining. It's been a cozy night. Ooh. Hello! Wow, the view is splendid. <laughs> they didn't have a king size bed for me. I could just push these to like this is literally king size. Like I would not fall through the crack. Whoa! 
Have you ever been inside a hotel room where the remote control comes in a box? Okay, let's see what else is there. Private pooper. Walk in and the toilet salutes you. Ooh, look how the amenity stuff. Soap bar, shower cap. Hey, what is this? I think this is bath salt. Hairbrush. Whoa, it's a full on hairbrush. Comb. What is a body towel? Oh, I think you just wash your body with that. Ooh, full on loofah. Oh, look at this. Shower and bath. And you don't have to worry about water splashing everywhere because this is like all part of the experience. Oh, look at this remote control. Do not disturb, blah, 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 blah. Air conditioner, curtain. Oh, okay. Control everything from the side of your bed. All right, I've been needing something for days now. I mean, I need it, I crave it, my body aches for it. I'm going to the gym. I may not even eat dinner tonight. I'm stuffing my face the next two days, so gym and then bed. It sounds like a solid plan for me. All right, see you in the morning. Busy day ahead of me. Mm -hmm. I'm meeting up with a, with a friend for dinner, but in the meantime, there's a bowl of rice with a mountain of bacon on top. It's been calling my name for about a year and a half. Can I express how excited I am for this next dish? It's probably one of my. If you ask me to recommend three things to eat in Tokyo, this would be one of them. I mean, it's just such an unapologetically aggressive tasting bacon filled rice meat mountain. I don't know how else to describe it. And it's coming up ooh, right here. Buta dong. Hello, baby. Now, remember, I tried to come in through this entrance last time, and that's not how you do it. So, well, it's not even open yet. So, you have to go. Oh, oh my God. 11 o'clock. Okay, almost time. This is a really cool little food hall with that soba, curry. There's already a line of people waiting for this Buddha Dome. Small, medium, large, extra large. I'm getting the extra large. Same thing as a ramen place, there's a vending machine. And so here's the vending machine. So, so excited. <laughs> Every slice of pork is glistening. And yeah, I paid extra for the extra sauce. So that is all steeped into the rice. I'm making this rice just basically the best rice on this planet. This pork is just the perfect combination of char, smokiness, and sweetness. A little chili. Add some heat. Some nice air send some nice sesame aroma. It makes it even better. That can even be possible. I still can't believe I'm here eating this right now. I've legit relived this moment in my head many times. That was a satisfyingly delicious nap attack in a bowl. That hit like so many spots that I didn't know I had this many spots to hit. And it hit them all. That could be my last meal, I'd be pretty happy. I'd be, I'd be sad because I would want to eat it again. Wow, only my second time having that dish. So much love. I just want to comment on that little vegetable sitting on that mountain of pork. What? What does that do? It's. Is that like just a, just a little sense of comfort? Is that like the diet in the Pepsi, just to make everyone feel just a tad little better about what we just did, about the sin we just committed. Ha! Joke's on them! That was my veggie intake of the day! It's by far the best hotel room with the best view I think I've ever had in my life. Just incredible. Ooh. 
Then I hit the gym and then going out to dinner with a friend. It's gonna be a good dinner. It's gonna be a good nap. See you later. Stella made the reservation at this Matsunabe place. Matsunabe is amazing mm -hmm. if you ever had it. It's great. I'm better in Prague. Okay? Prague? And arts? Yeah. Prague? Yeah. Worst food ever? No. It's bad. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have some Matsunabe. This is like, I only had this once in my life. It's so good. Uh, I am not gonna eat sea biscuit today. This is amazing. That's amazing. I'm, I'm not gonna eat sea biscuit today. I, I don't feel like I can. I'm, I'm just gonna stick with that. Why? Because it's adorable. It's a pony. No, it's not a pony. It's like really like horse for. Yeah, it's it's horse. What do you mean horse for eating? What's the difference? They, I think like they have it. Like, it's not like for the horse for race. Because like if it's for a race. Yeah, but it's still like a, a like a pretty horse, right? I'm not, I'm not too sure if it's. Well, even if it's an ugly horse, I don't want to eat an ugly horse either. It's not about physical looks, you know. But you eat chicken. Yeah. What's the difference? What's the difference? Horses are cute. Chickens are not. Chickens are cute. They have no lips. Things without lips are not that cute. I'm just saying. Watch a pouty fish. It's pretty adorable. There's our nabe hot pot. There's our mentaiko. Mm, mentaiko goes perfect with this because no, they're both from the same city, Fukuoka, and they're both like so good there. This is definitely, I don't feel like the, as big as the one I had in Fukuoka. And this is so good because this thing is so fatty and it's got such a great mouthfeel. Mm, it's so fatty. I love fatty foods. I'm kind of obsessed with fat, I think. Dessert time. This is so cute. They have like this little box of tiramisu. I ah, just all cream. There's some fruits to kind of help you not die. No, it's all cream. <laughs> it's just so, my whole day just been, hey body, I'm gonna make you expire sooner. I'm gonna eat a fruit like that helps. That's canned fruit. <laughs> Pretty sure. It's 400 yen. Yeah. Only $4. What do you expect? I expect actual tiramisu in my tiramisu. This is no, this is just cream. That's Japanese tiramisu. Oh wow, I mean, I'm sure it is. Oh, great day. Gotta see some awesome people. I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to bed. Gym first. Gonna go to bed. Thanks so much for watching.